Welcome. Today we're going to design and create an iPad amplifier base for your iPad Air. To begin, we're going to start with new from our ribbon bar at the top, standard IPT, and click create. We're going to begin with a 2D sketch. Place that on your XY plane. Click front to zoom all. I'm going to begin with my rectangle. And starting at our origin, wait for the green dot, please, and stretch a rectangle up and to the right-hand quadrant. My horizontal dimension is 8. We're going to type that in. Press the tab key. And my vertical dimension is 3.5, 3.5 inches. Press the enter key on the keyboard. Next, we're going to take and finish sketch. Green check mark in the upper right-hand corner. And then we're going to go home. We're going to take and extrude. We're going to extrude in direction number two. We're going to extrude a distance of 1.5 inches going direction number two. And click OK. Next, we're going to take a 2D sketch, place that on our front view. Click front again to zoom all. And then we're going to take and use our line tool. We're going to begin at the bottom of our workpiece. When that bottom edge highlights, I'm going to click and come up at an angle, and I'm going to create kind of like an unfinished triangle. When I bring across this straight line, I want to make sure I have that object snap, that little gray box that appears. Click, and then come back down to our edge of the workpiece. Once you're on the edge, click. Then I'm going to get a line tool again. And I'm going to connect these two endpoints here. So I'm going to first start on the right-hand side. Make sure you get a green dot. Come over to the left-hand side. Make sure you get a green dot to close that. And then press the escape key. Now we need to take and place dimensions on here in order to locate this unfinished triangle on your workpiece. So I'm going to dimension from the left-hand side of my workpiece to the left-hand side of the unfinished triangle bring this dimension down. This dimension is 0.5, a half inch, green check mark. Next I'm going to dimension across the bottom of the unfinished triangle. So I'm going to select the lower left hand corner of my unfinished triangle, lower right hand corner of the unfinished triangle. Bring this dimension down. This dimension here is 7 inches and green check mark. Next, we're going to dimension again from the bottom of my workpiece to the top of the unfinished triangle. Bring this dimension out. This dimension is 1.63 inches. Green check mark. I'm going to dimension in order to get the angle lines evened out. I'm going to dimension from the left-hand side of my workpiece to the upper left-hand corner of my unfinished triangle. This dimension is 2.38, green check mark. I'm also going to dimension the length of that top line of the unfinished triangle, and that is 3.25. Green check mark when you have those dimensions in. Next, we're going to take and finish sketch. I'm going to extrude. I'm going to select my unfinished triangle, the part we just got done drawing. I want to extrude the cut, so I want to select this button here. And I want to enter in a distance to extrude of 1 inch. And click OK. Next, we're going to take a place a 2D sketch on our front view. Click front in your world cube to zoom all. And here we're going to take and draw two rectangles. I want one starting at the top of the unfinished triangle that we just got done creating. Notice how I get my green dot. The horizontal dimension is 1.25. Press the tab key. Your vertical dimension is 0.63. Press the enter key on the keyboard. For my next rectangle, I'm going to start on the upper right hand corner of the unfinished triangle. Make sure you're getting a green dot. Click. Stretch this rectangle out. Once again, this rectangle is going to be 1.25. Press the tab key. 0.63. 
press the Enter key on the keyboard. With these two rectangles located, I'm going to take and Finish Sketch. I'm going to Extrude. I'm going to select my two rectangles that we just drew. And these are going to be cut out as well. So I'm going to select my Cut Tool. And here I want to cut a distance of 0.75. And select OK. Using my Rotate Tool, I can turn this and I can see what my iPad Air Amplifier Bass looks like. That looks pretty good. Next we're going to go orange capital letter I, Save As. Make sure you're saving to your H drive, first initial last name, 000. And I'm going to type in my name, type in your name. And I'm typing in my name and then iPad Amplifier Air Base. And select Save. Now let's take and run our tool pass. To do that, we're going to select our cam tab from the top above the ribbon bar. And I'm going to set up by selecting Set Up Folder. I'm going to set up my job, set up my workpiece. The first thing I want to do is work these tabs top to bottom. In my tabs, I work left to right. In my work coordinate system, I'm going to select the origin. I'm going to change it from stock box point to model origin. I'm going to come across to my stock setup. I want to make sure that this dimension here is 1.5. That's the thickness of my material. And then in my post processor, for my program comment, I'm going to enter in your name and iPad Air Amplifier Base. And select OK. After we finish that, we're going to go to the 2D milling area in our ribbon bar, and I want to select 2D Pocket. First thing I want to do is choose my tool. Once again, these tabs that go across the top, I'm going to work them top to bottom, and the tabs from left to right. So I'm going to select my tool first. I'm going to scroll down on the left-hand side in this menu to Sample Tools Inch. And in this menu on the right-hand side, I want to scroll down until I find my quarter-inch flat end mills. And I want to select, out of all the quarter-inch flat end mills, I want to select the bottom one. Choose Select. Moving across to my next tab, where I select my geometry. Now from this view, I can't really see the areas that I need to select, so I'm going to use my Rotate tool. And I'm going to rotate my block up. Press the escape key to let go of your rotate tool. And I'm going to click the bottom surface of each one of the rectangles and the bottom surface of the unfinished triangle. Once that's done, we're moving across to our next tab, which are selecting our heights. Our clearance height, I'm going to change to stock top. And I'm going to select the clearance offset height of 0.2. Retract height should be stock top and point two. Your feed height we're going to change to stock top. Once those are selected, I'm going to go to my next tab, which is passes. I'm going to choose multiple depths right here, this box we're going to select. And our maximum roughing step over, I'm going to change to point two five. Down in the next section, we're going to take in where it says stock to leave. We're going to deselect or uncheck this box. After you have those things taken care of, we're going to move across to our final tab, which is our linking parameters. Where it says leads and transitions, I'm going to deselect the lead in, deselect the lead out. And my ramp for entry, I'm going to change from helix to plunge. After you have those selected, we're going to click OK. It's going to take a second to run your tool pass. When it finishes, your part should look similar to this. After we have that done, I'm going to click Simulate. You can click the Play button here. 
after it finishes running around through your parts and taking care of your tool pass, you can click close button here. Then we're going to click on post process. I want to choose the post processor from this menu here. It should be one underscore Butler MS Techno ESO. That's the name of the mill that we're using. In my output folder, I want to click on this box. And I want to have this changed to my H drive, which should be your first initial last name 000. Select open. And I'm going to enter in a program comment. We'll type your name in iPad Air Amplifier Base and click Post. Once again, enter in your name. And iPad Air Amplifier Base. Select Save. When your file editor opens up, we're going to click this X in the upper right hand corner to close it out. I'm going to go up to my orange capital letter I. I'm going to go down to save to update my changes. After I have it saved, I'm going to minimize or exit out of Inventor. Go over to the computer that has the CNC mill connected to it. And on the desktop, there should be an icon for CNC mill. Click to launch it. Translate execute. <clears throat> I'm going to select my H drive and I want to have iPad Air Amplifier Base. Click open. Select it first and click open. Click OK when this menu pops up. And I want to select preview. You're going to type the letter S and then F on the keyboard. And this is where you are going to stop. Go get your teacher. Have them come over. Help you lock and or load and lock your piece into the CNC mill. Congratulations. You are finished. The next step is getting your teacher and cutting your part.